Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I would be explaining you the construction of psychrometric chart that is continued from the previous lecture. In previous lecture, we have seen how to draw the saturation line. In this video, we would be seeing how to draw the constant relative humidity line. Now, you know this formula phi is equal to PV upon P PS. Phi is equal to relative humidity and phi is equal to PV upon PS. So, suppose we need to draw 50% RH line. So, take arbitrarily 20 degree Celsius, 30 degree Celsius, 40 degree Celsius dry bulb temperature or you can take any like 20, 25, 30 but take in the same interval like 20, 25, 30 or 20, 30, 40 or 25, 30, 5, 45 and so on. I hope you got it. Huh? Now, Suppose you need to draw 50% 50, 50 RH line, then what you need to do, you use this formula phi is equal to PV upon PS. Now, point, you put 50% that is 0.5, so 0.5 is equal to PV upon PS, so you find PV is equal to 0.5 PS. Now, you use the formula omega is equal to 0.622 PV upon P total minus PV. So you substitute PV obtained from above step in this equation and you find the corresponding omega value. Now PS is the saturated pressure corresponding to the dry bulb temperature that you have taken. Suppose in this, uh, this example I have taken 20 degree Celsius, 30 degree Celsius, 40 degree Celsius. So your PS that is saturated pressure would be the saturated pressure at 20 degree Celsius then at 30 degree celsius and 40 degree celsius you have to plot three points to join a line you need at least two points but to improve the accuracy i have taken three points so first you need to solve for 20 degree celsius complete you will find one point then you go for 30 degree celsius you will find another point then you go for 40 degree celsius you will find another point then join all these points so you will get the constant rh line now First we are solving for 20 degree Celsius. So at 20 degree Celsius from the steam table you find the saturated pressure. That would be the PS. So using the equation PV is equal to 0.5 PS you find the PV that is partial pressure. Now omega is 0.622 PV upon PT minus PV. So from this equation you substitute the PV value obtained above and PT is the total pressure that is at which pressure you want to draw the psychrometric chart. Then substitute these values you find omega. So the point would be what is a point? Point is represented as x comma y. Here x is dry bulb temperature y is omega because in the psychrometric chart on the x axis the dry bulb temperature is represented and on the y axis omega is represented. So suppose you need to draw 50% RH line. So first take 20 degree Celsius you find omega at 20 degree Celsius. Now you locate that point by going up from 20 degree Celsius and going left from omega at 20 degree Celsius wherever they intersect that would be one point and note that uh, you have to find you have to mark the dry bulb temperature on the x axis at some uh, that is finite intervals you have to take some scale similarly on the y axis you have to mark that is specific humidity by taking some scale then you will plot the corresponding points and then you will join by a smooth curve alright similarly you can go for 60% RH, 40% RH, 30% RH you can join you can find the points then you can locate then you can join I am explaining once again what you need to do first PV is equal to suppose you need to draw 50% RH line you take three random dry bulb temperatures First you take one dry bulb temperature that is I have taken first 20 degree Celsius 
so using the equation 0.5 is equal to pv upon ps we find pv is equal to 0.5 into ps ps would be the saturated pressure corresponding to the 20 degree celsius dry bulb temperature you measure from the steam table you take the value from steam table you find pv by multiplying by 0.5 then you use this equation omega is equal to 0.622 pv upon pt minus pv p total pt is p total pv you have found out you find omega so you got omega at 20 degree celsius now you have to locate that point so you move up from 20 degree celsius you move left from omega at 20 degree celsius wherever they intersect that would be one point similarly in the next step you take 30 degree celsius you find saturation pressure at 30 degree celsius you use this equation you find omega then you you move up from 30 degree celsius left from omega at 30 degree celsius wherever they intersect that would be second point similarly from 40 degree celsius you move up and omega at 40 degree celsius you move left that would be wherever they intersect that would be a third point so you have got three points now you can draw a smooth curve passing through these these would represent 50 percent rh line i hope i made myself clear similarly if you need to draw 60 percent rh or 40 percent rh or 30 percent rh you need to use this formula phi is equal to pv upon ps you put phi is equal to suppose 60 percent rh so you put phi is equal to 0.6 you find pv is equal to 0.6 into ps similarly then you can find omega then you locate dbt and omega corresponding x and y you know the coordinates you locate the points you join by smooth curve that would represent your relative humidity line i hope you found this video helpful if you have found this video helpful please like the video if you have any doubt please comment the comment on the video and please subscribe my channel if you have not already subscribed and do share this video and uh, if you want to see more videos you can check the links all the links of the videos are given in the description now in the next video i have taught you how to draw the constant enthalpy lines so to see that video just click on the first link in the description i have mentioned and you would be directed to that that video i have not made all the all the construction of the psychrometric chart in one video i have made separate so as to make the video clear and concise and precise so if you want to see the second video next video that is how to draw constant enthalpy lines please check the link given in the description and you would be directed by youtube so you can watch that similarly i have given the link for constant constant uh, a wet bulb temperature line constant saturation line and constant specific volume line i have made all the separate videos so you can watch by clicking in the links given in the description all right take care bye bye wherever i go Whatever I see, I'll remember